I cannot say exactly when I started painting. I only remember my uncle grabbed attention of my parents at very young age. I probably was about seven, eight years old. And I just was a regular kid, you know, with uh, unleashed imagination. I am Evgeny Merman. I was born in Kyiv and study art there. In the beginning of the 90s, we decided to move to Israel with the family. And in the mid of the 90s, I uh, went and studied in New York at School of Visual Arts. And when I came back in Israel, I was involved pretty much in the uh, uh, Israeli art scene. It happened to be in the end of the 90s, we decided to go back to New York with, with a friend, with other friends, artists. And uh, from New York, I moved to Toronto, Moscow. I lived in, also in Shanghai and Hong Kong. Traveling, it is part of me, a part of my art. I also enjoy to discover and experimenting with the new places, adapting to the new environments. I believe that life is somewhat like a circle. You go sometimes far away to find your way to come back. I usually imagine final picture in my head. Uh, well, not completely. There is always a moment of improvisation in my creation process, but I like to think big, big in terms of uh, size, like Diego Ibrera and David Siqueiras did. They were a great source of inspiration for me. In the project Argard, I painted people that I did not usually pay any attention to them. You can say even they are faceless people. I saw some uh, photos taken by my friend, photographer in one of the Moscow's museums, and, and it, it is immediately grabbed my attention. The aloofness and icy faces and tired faces amazed me. I thought, why is it all the beauty of art not affects those people? Sometimes I felt like painting and sketches getting me more close to their souls. I'm not an artist of statements. In a sense, I'm not trying to change the world. Uh, my art doesn't necessarily care any revolutionary ideas. It seems more personal and intimate to me. I choose to focus on the micro situation in life uh, that I find uh, exciting and interesting. And through my art, uh, as it is language, more easy to me to express myself. If through my visualization, people can better understand any aspects of life, then I consider my mission accomplished.